Yo, what's up guys, Surgical Golden here and welcome to this new episode. In today's video, I actually have some awesome news for you guys. You guys might have actually already read something about it, you guys might have already participated in it, but right now it's actually the fourth year anniversary of Clash Royale, so that actually means uh, there's a lot of things coming, like of course, like the new season, new battle pass, new arena, stuff like that, but also something really cool for you guys. And as you guys see on the screen right now, this emote, I actually already have it. I can quickly show you guys how it is in the game itself, um, as you guys see here. Like, this is the emote I'm talking about, guys. The P.E.K.K.A. Balloon emote. It's actually a limited emote, so you can't um, yeah, get it anywhere else. Then right now, yeah, how I'm about to explain you guys, so as you guys see, Season 9 balance changes. Balance changes pretty interesting. I would have liked to see, for example, Mini P.E.K.K.A. nerf. Magic Archer nerf, but still pretty interesting balance changes. As I just said, new battle pass. Uh, Birthday Royale, so Season 9, as I said, 4th year anniversary of Clash Royale. Um, so let's quickly click on that. So as, as I said before, like the... Um, ah, also new card, Royal Delivery. Pretty interesting card. I think it does have a little bit of potential. Maybe it should be a little bit faster though, because I feel like the Recruit itself doesn't really do much. Uh, but the splash damage, like, it does well, it lands, like, while the box uh, drops on the field. It's actually really good, uh, good can kill, for example, minions, mean horde, stuff like that. So it's actually a pretty interesting card. Um, and then, as I said, let's go a little bit lower. So new arena, what I said earlier, the new battle pass. If you guys would like to support me, make sure to use, uh, yeah, code Surgical Goblin in the item shop. I do really appreciate it, of course. And then also, as I said uh, earlier, there's the emote. So let's actually quickly read what it says. Supercell creators will be giving away an exclusive fourth birthday emote via their uh, channels throughout March. So that's right, guys. I've actually been doing it uh, through Twitter and Instagram so far. So make sure to check it out. I've actually an, uh, I've actually a giveaway running right now on my Twitter where I'm giving away 10 P.E.K.K.A. emotes on my Twitter. So I'll make sure to actually put the link of that tweet in the pinned comment. So make sure to check it out if you guys want to participate in the giveaway. But there will be some more um, yeah, ways to get it. I think tomorrow... Or in two days, not sure. I'll actually be going live on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Surgical Goblin. Make sure to follow me there and then I'll actually do some tournaments. I think uh, since I can give away 10 each day, I think I will do two tournaments, like two tournaments of one hour in that live stream. And then the top three will get it. And then two random uh, participants like in the tournament. So this way I think it's fair because this way like of course like uh, good players can get it. Like the good players like there will be really good competition. But then at the same time everyone does still have a chance to get it. Um, like if you for example even end up like last. You still have a chance to get it. So I think that will be fair. Let me know in the uh, comment section down below what you guys would think. So that being said about how to get the exclusive. Uh, well the limited like P.E.K.K.A. emote. Might have been a really cool um Emote, if you guys have any questions like uh, regarding the emote, if you guys have any questions like regarding how to participate, like it's really simple. A lot of content creators are doing this. For example, also I saw Orange Juice uh, do like a tournament and a lot of people are doing like giveaways as said like on Twitter, Instagram. Make sure to check that out. You guys have definitely good chances to win one of these emotes. And then also uh, this challenge actually started I think one or two days ago. I just uh, yeah, uh, finished the first stage and now I'm in the second stage, 7-0 so far um, and at 10 wins we actually have this Royal Giant also with a 4, like uh, as I said for the 4th year anniversary of Clash Royale. This emote that's awesome, I've actually been using this deck which is actually super good. Why it's super good? Because it has Electro Dragon, it has uh, bats and as you guys see it's, um, I think it's called Modern Royale the second part. We don't have anything against Zap or well I guess we have uh, Snowball but I mean the bats and then for example the inferno dragon and then the wall breakers and everything it just has a really good synergy i will show you guys right now so i would say let's just open to the first match guys hopefully you guys have been doing well um and yeah that's it so let's go into the first match let's give it a thumbs up and let's give it a good luck so usually with this deck if i have wall breakers uh i start with wall breakers looks like he actually has a bandit so i guess yeah not that bad i will actually go with bats one of the wall breakers actually ends up connecting, so I guess that's really good for us. Looks like he also has a better ram. Looks like Pekka to me, not sure. Well, I guess, I'm not sure if Pekka is in this um, game mode. I actually forgot that there's a limited amount of cards. So looks like he does go with his Inferno Dragon. I'm kind of afraid of a high Mega Knight, but I will still go with Electro Wizard at the bridge. Okay, looks like he does go with a Mega Knight. Let's actually go with Inferno Dragon right now. Hopefully he doesn't have enough Elixir for his uh, Electro Wizard. Looks like he does have bets. So a really solid deck on his part as well. Our Inferno Dragon will... Ooh, look at that. Oh, no. Uh, I was about to say look at that uh, because the Electro is actually still reset it. I guess the Inferno Dragon almost went down. Let's go with the Goblin Gang for the Bandit. feel like he's pretty low on Elixir, but I uh, yeah, also don't have that much Elixir. So I guess for now we will just chill a little bit. Um, yeah, gain a little bit of Elixir. Looks like he doesn't want to chill. Looks like he goes with the Better Ram. So let's actually go with Minor Wall Breaks other lane. 
Bets on defense will take a little bit of damage with the Barbarians, but look at the Warbreakers, guys. Warbreakers will end up connecting both. And look at the amount of damage. I'll just take a little bit of damage on the right side. I'll still use my Log, though, on the Electro Wizard. Um, so that way, it will only get one hit. But yeah, I'm fine with taking one hit. And of course, the, uh, the Log gets a little bit of chip damage. So looking really solid so far, as you guys see. Um, yeah, this deck is definitely really solid. Really good synergy, so feel free to try it out, guys. Also, as you guys saw, like, for example, there with the bets, like, we end up taking a little bit of damage, but it's definitely worth it because, of course, minor wall breakers, uh, like, if wall breakers in general, like, connect, it's a ton of damage, but if, especially if the miner's tanking and dealing chip damage. Let me know what you guys think about the new balance changes, by the way. Uh, in my opinion, they are pretty interesting, but, yeah, as I said, I'm not sure what I think about, for example, the mini pack are not being nerfed, the magic arts are not being nerfed. Like, let me know what you guys think about those changes. Uh, let me know if you guys think they are okay like right now or do you guys think they are OP? In my opinion, Mighty Archer is definitely really strong. Um, okay, looks like he... Okay, that's a definitely pretty good Mega Knight. I guess we, we will take it like this. We do need to watch out. He might go with his own Mega Knight right now. Okay, looks like he goes with Electro Wizard that actually allows us to go with a high Electro Wizard. Or looks like he goes with Inferno Dragon, excuse me, that allows us to go with a high Electro Wizard. I'll actually... I think I'll pressure the left lane. Okay, looks like he goes with a look, so let's actually pressure the left lane with minor Goblin Gang, and this, that's why this deck just has such a good synergy, guys. He wastes his Electro Wizard, but look at the King Tower, let's actually go with bets as well. Uh, I think that might actually end up in the 3-count, and look at the amount of damage. This deck is just insane, guys. Feel free to try it out. Already a 3-count in the first match, and it actually puts us 8-0 in the challenge right now. So yeah, this deck is definitely insane. Let's quickly hop into the second match. Uh, so what was I talking about? Ah, uh, yeah, the, uh, about the balance changes. So in my opinion, the balance changes are definitely interesting. Um, just as I said, like Magic Archer Mini Pack, oh, it should have been nerfed in my opinion. Cannon Card, not sure if the Cannon Card will be used right now, but I definitely like that the Cannon Card is getting buffed because we didn't really see it often. Um, I guess in the past we saw it in, for example, the, the Graveyard deck, like Ice Wizard, Cannon Card, Baby Dragon, Graveyard deck. I feel like that deck might come back. Um, and Miner, I feel like Miner is still decent. Like, for example, right now we're using Miner. Uh, I just don't think Miner chip damage, like Miner Cycle isn't that good. I feel like just Miner, for example, with, um, well, let's say, like, a, in this case, like, Minor Mega Knight, Minor, for example, Giant, Minor Laugh Hound, I think, is still pretty good. So, in my opinion, Minor is still a unique card. Like, it's still super strong. It's just not, um, yeah, as good as before. Like, for example, a Minor Chip Damage. Like, right now, you you will definitely notice, like, the difference in the, in the, um, in the damage. So, let's actually go with Inferno Dragon. The Mega Knight will end up connecting. I don't think, yeah, most of the people actually end up using Lock in this challenge. So, I've actually not really faced any Snowball decks, to be honest. Uh, I honestly didn't even realize that Snowball was in the challenge, so that's also why I said like Inferno Dragon and Bats are OP. But most of the times, I think so far all the times, I actually haven't faced any of um, oof, Bad Luck. I actually end up missing the Electro Wizard, but I think that's fine. We should have a pretty decent counter push over here. Electro Wizard does end up getting a lot of chip damage, but with the Mega Knight, I feel like we should be able to get a pretty good push. Like have the Mega Knight tank, then Miner, and then go with bets behind the Mega Knight. Um, I could go with Wall Breakers, but I think, yeah, I, I would just chill a little bit. Or I guess I will, I will go with Wall Breakers on the right side. Look at that, Mega Knight is still alive. Bets are still there. Miner is still tanking, dealing chip damage, and then the first tower is already down, guys. This deck, as I said, it's super good. Feel free to try it out, guys. Um, and let's see. So right now, I think we just... Um, yeah, play most defense, like we just try to cycle in the back, cycle Inferno Dragon and keep Mega Knight for defense. If he tries to make a, a big push, he has a pretty interesting deck. He has Magic Archer, Healer, Dark Prince, not sure what his win condition is. Um, feel like he didn't show his win condition yet. He's actually split Goblin Gang off here. I think I'll actually go a little bit, maybe it's too aggressive or it looks like maybe he actually gave up because he's not, yeah, looks like he actually gave up guys. He's not placing any cards, so I guess, uh, yeah, we will quickly finish the match and then hope into hopefully last match. If we win the next match, we will actually complete the challenge 10 0, so that will be awesome because the emote is actually really nice. I actually really like the Royal Giant emote. Let me know what you guys think about the new emotes, by the way. Which uh, which one do you like more? Do you like the P.E.K.K.A. emote more or do you like the Royal Giant emote more? I definitely like the P.E.K.K.A. emote more, um, but I guess it's also because of, as I said, like it's a super limited emote, so yeah, not sure. Um, if that kind of, how to say, like, adjust my opinion. But anyways, let's hop into the next match, guys. Hopefully, this will be the last match. As I said, if we win this, we will be 10-0 in the challenge. So, let's give it a thumbs up and let's give it a good luck. So, let's see what it drops. Usually, with this deck, um, I either play a little bit chill in the beginning. Like, with this starting hand, I don't really want to go too aggressive. Or, of course, if I have wall breakers, I will definitely start with it. Looks like our opponent actually has a level 8 Furnace. So, I actually went to an Inferno Dragon in the same lane. But the tower actually already ends up killing it. Looks like he has a level 7 um, E-Dragon. Wow, let's actually have the lock ready. Okay, I guess I'll actually go with Electro Wizard. 
should be a pretty good electro resolve here hitting everything and i think that should be okay let's actually go with look like that not sure why because the furnace or the fire spirits anyways don't even connect to my tower but yeah pretty solid demons over there so this guy actually has under leveled cards anyways let's go with a mega knight in the back guys let's see what he drops okay he goes with his lumber uh i guess we can go with a goblin gang like this goblin gang should be able to fully counter that looks like he also goes with the furnace this fire spirit might yeah i was about to say this fire spirit might end up connecting looks like it didn't let's actually go with a minor pets again so this combination is definitely really strong guys mega knight tanking minor in the back like uh chipping away and then bets behind the mega knight in this case he was forced to use his poison onto the um, bets mega knight is still alive mega knight actually ends up connecting and look at the amount of damage the miner is dealing in the meantime um as i said mine of course did get nerfed like right now it actually does i believe 56 damage usually or before it did 64 damage so it's definitely big damage um how to say reduction i believe it is but anyways let's pressure with wall breakers off here guys let's see what he drops looks like he actually goes with his mega knight to actually go with inferno dragon he might actually go with his electro dragon um okay looks like he doesn't have enough elixir looks like he goes with his e-wiz but into the mega knight and i feel like this is good game guys we still have the inferno dragon there we still have the mega knight there i'll actually wait i don't really want to go with goblin gang behind it because we don't know if he has lock yet um looks like he doesn't really have anything so i guess okay looks like he goes with his goblin gang let's actually press the other lane with minor goblin gang let's actually go with bats here let's actually go with wall breakers in the middle this deck is just insane guys the amount of pressure you can apply with this deck is incredible look at that guys the right side tower actually yeah will go down and i think this will be another three crown uh inferno dragon might end up killing the electro dragon let's actually go with the inferno dragon in the back again um but this is definitely over guys 35 seconds left we already have two towers he barely touched our tower i feel like he only dealt damage with the poison um and i think that he might also give up so so far we actually made two people or maybe three people rage quit guys this deck is just crazy let's actually go with goblin gang minor bets inferno dragon is still there mega knight will connect to the tower and this will definitely be a three crown um so as you guys see this deck is definitely really strong guys feel free to try this deck out if you guys haven't completed the challenge already let me know in the comment section down below if you guys enjoyed the video let me know if you guys have any specific um suggestions like for future videos if you guys would like to see more challenges if you guys would like to see uh, me make a video about the tournament like about the the emote for example as i said like i want to do a live stream but maybe i can do some highlights and maybe make a video about it or just in general like record a video on it so as you guys see 10 0 in the modern royale challenge Let's quickly collect that emote, guys, and that will do it for today's video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys um, yeah, understand how to be able to get the limited P.E.K.K.A. emote. As said in the beginning of the video, I'll make sure to pin um, the comment, like in the pinned comment, put a link to the tweet of the giveaway. Right now I'm actually giving away 10 exclusive uh, or limited P.E.K.K.A. emotes. So make sure to check it out, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to smack the like button. If not subscribed to the channel, feel free to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next videos. Bye, guys.